it's become obvious to uh, the general public that you know the current path we're on of oil and coal is is not sustainable and so there's got to be other other avenues for energy. About a year ago or so uh, we made contact with uh, with Burns and McDonald in Kansas City. They were looking around basically for uh, what kinds of options can we have in the wind area. What we presented to them was sort of a unique thing. Uh, they liked the looks of it. They thought okay so in, in those discussions uh, we decided that uh, uh, the, the best thing to do to move forward would be why don't we demonstrate this turbine uh, in Kansas. We'd already done a lot at our campus, including photovoltaic systems, bioretention cells, a green roof in an area. I knew that we didn't really have the best location for this distributed generation application with wind. And uh, about the same time, talked to part of the Huber team and realized that uh, this team had a real interest in uh, wind and possibly solar here at this location to use wind power to create electricity and actually add electricity back into the electrical grid that powers the nation is a pretty exciting, it's pretty exciting to be a piece of that. The materials came in two shipments, on a ship across the Pacific and then via rail from California to Kansas City, Kansas, and then they were trucked here. The assembly team, uh, Jin Cook, Dayan Kim, and Young Dong Kim have been great. They're, they're so friendly and they're all, always smiling and I think very excited about assembling the product. So to have the Koreans here working together with them was uh, kind of renewing that, that fun that you have and working in that environment. A lot of energy, and uh, it makes people really work hard to cooperate with each other. My name is uh, Jinguk Lee. The, our company is uh, the Aeronet. My team is uh, the very nice. They have uh, the good talent. They are the best team. On the front of the uh, rotors is a uh, wind scoop, and that scoop's not only blocking the wind from hitting the rotors as they come around in the opposite direction, but it's also diverting the wind upwards into the cups of the rotor, you know, increase the power at which that spins. And then on top is a scoop that catches the wind as it's coming over the top of the cups or just off of the rotor, and it directs it to hit those cups one more time on the back side. I'm Sun Bae Lee. Um, I'm a, a CEO of Aeronet uh, based in uh, Seoul, Korea. I decided to design vertical tide turbine, which has very high efficiency and and no noise problems and and no vibration. To be a, a real uh, player in the wind turbine business, uh, we don't have time to lose. I am uh, very worried about uh, how I how I can install. The how I can the pick, up, pick it up the, on the tower. Even though you know we are uh, tested and uh, verified many times, but you know uh, you know many uh, unexpected things 
may happen. So uh, I pray for God. This wind turbine is is the uh, most efficient five kilowatt wind turbine manufactured. This is the first one in the world. There were no surprises. It went exactly as we planned. You you make a good plan, you stick to the plan, and it'll work fine. So I, there were no surprises. I was pleased. Ah, yeah, we did it. Yeah. We don't have any more chance, you know, uh, if we, our turbine will not work. <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, it did. <laughs> Things are changing very rapidly, and this is not a static project. On our south face of our building and a little bit of the west and the east, we're putting up a, a reclaimed wood screen wall. It'll create a draft effect that'll keep the building cool. Outside of that, that reclaimed wood will be the solar panels, and we've got provisions to put up to 50 solar panels on it. In addition to that, on the east side of the building, we're adding a green screen wall to try and help insulate that from the heat load that builds up in the morning. We're also gonna have a, a charging station for electric vehicles in the front that'll be the best parking place in the parking lot. And it'll be fed off of our alternative energy. So anybody that drives an electric car can, when they come here for a meeting, or if somebody works here, they get the Primo parking place and they can charge their car while they're here. My hope is that through education of, of projects just like Huber's wind turbine, is, as the next generation is more aware of uh, alternate ways to, to generate energy, that some of the decisions they make will become the norm and that we will achieve a higher level of efficiency, a greater level of energy independence, and, and uh, just overall sustainable practices in our culture. I think we're going to see that more and more with each subsequent generation, that it just becomes uh, a way of life.